Protect yourself on the internet with the only VPN to receive a perfect score from PC Mag. And you get 70% off of the next three years. Head to nordvpn.com slash tyt right now, and you also get a free month on us. We, the jury, find unanimously that the defendant did not cause the death of Botham John while under the immediate influence of sudden passion arising from an adequate cause and assess the defendant's punishment at 10 years imprisonment. Amber Geiger, the former Dallas police officer who shot and killed Botham Jean in his own apartment, has been sentenced, as you heard in that video clip, he, she has been sentenced to 10 years in prison. Now, prosecutors had asked for a minimum of 28 years, but I'm gonna say unfortunately, she only got 10 years in prison. This is the story involving the officer who Claims that she walked into the wrong apartment thinking it was her own, and she immediately opened fire, shooting and killing an innocent man in his own home. Now, this story has led to protests. Protesters took to the streets. They were upset at how short this sentence is, especially considering the fact that she was convicted of murder. But one other part of the story that's gotten a lot of attention is the fact that both of Jean's brother, uh, asked to hug Amber Geiger in the courtroom. We're gonna get to that in just a second, but Cenk, I wanted to get your thoughts on the sentence. Yeah, so look, uh, ironically, I'm not sure that I would have voted murder if I was on the jury, because I, I don't think she necessarily had intent ahead of time. I would have done probably manslaughter, but I would have then given her more than 10 years. Mm -hmm. uh, so look, it, we weren't on the jury from the outside, and, and obviously this is all our own personal opinions based on our, our context and perspective, etc. But it's 20 years, uh, I would have given her whatever the max was on manslaughter. Uh, because she took a life that she did not have to take. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and she was incredibly careless about it. And uh, you know we've talked about all the uh, situations about how she didn't help enough as he's bleeding out, etc. So uh, I think 10 years, pretty light sentence for murder. Uh, so, and, and look, as a progressive, if we're gonna go in the direction of Norway and, and Northern European countries that give light sentences, and but we do it across the board, okay, fine. Okay, then that's the society we are, and I don't mind that at all. Uh, but we have to be consistent. So if a black or otherwise, poor, middle class, whatever defendant had shot a white cop and, and the jury convicted that person of murder or any cop, do you think they would've gotten 10 years? <laughs> No, they would have gotten life, and you of know course, it. Of course, you know yeah, it definitely. Yeah, I mean the the issue of the two tier justice system comes up a lot because it, it impacts so many people of color. It impacts so many people who have uh, little means, and so it's it's really terrible to see it happen over and over again. Now, one of the uh, incidents that occurred in the courtroom involved uh, Botham John's brother, uh, Brant John. And he, I don't wanna give too much away. There was, in my opinion, a way too much judgment toward him online in regard to what you're about to see. But let's watch and then I'll give you more details. If you truly are sorry, I know, I can speak for myself, I, I forgive you. And I know if you go to God and ask him, he will forgive you. But I love you just like anyone else. And I'm not gonna say I hope you rot and die just like my brother did, but I see I I personally want the best for you. I don't know if this is possible, but can can I give her a hug, please? Please. Yes. <laughs> that is a way better person than, than I could ever be. Yeah, um, so I wanna separate out two things because it's really important here. He's a wonderful guy, so get off of him. He, he's, and religious, by the way. Yeah, he's very religious, talking about finding Christ and stuff like that. I am not at all religious. 
Uh, and and that kind of talk does not appeal to me. But he, this is why I praise religious people. Uh, and you gotta, you gotta, context is important, etc. So he's a wonderful religious person who has forgiveness in his heart and has hope in his heart and believes in humanity. Okay, now the macro issue is some folks in this country, particularly African Americans, culturally were taught a form of Christianity where they were constantly forgiving transgressions against them. I don't think that was an accident. I think the white power structure in the South back in the day taught them, no, you're not gonna get anything in this life. Everything's in the afterlife and you're supposed to bow your head and you're supposed to forgive me for all the transgressions I'm doing against you. Now, if it was equally applied and you saw white folks back in the day or even today going and saying, "Oh, that black guy killed my family member. Can I give him a hug?" I, because I immediately want to forgive him. And do they do that from time to time? Yes, and it's usually very good Christians who do that, right? But does it happen on a regular basis culturally? Not that often. But instead, in Charleston, when Dylan Roof went and shot up that church and killed all those black folks and wanted to start a race war, immediately there was talking about talk about forgiving him, forgiving him. Yeah. I don't remember the last time there was a Muslim defendant and anybody talked about forgiveness ever, ever in this country. So if it's evenly applied, great, then as a progressive, I'm thrilled. And he's a wonderful guy, don't say anything about him. But there is this tradition and now the judge. Yeah, so um, I, by the way, like there were no calls for him to do that here. Like yeah. it was what he wanted to do and you never know how you're gonna react when you're in a moment of grief. I think that no one has any right to judge him in the way that he felt he needed to act in that moment. With that said though, I'm gonna go to video G4 because this is the judge, Tammy Kemp, and just pay close attention to how she treats the situation, G4. All right. So here we go again. Uh, I have never in my life seen a white judge come down and hug a black defendant, a black male defendant, etc. If it happened all the time, great, then we live in a better place in the world. I'm not trying to judge the judge. Uh, I, bless her heart, they're good people, but this has got to be equal, and it isn't. And so all of a sudden, a, a white cop shoots a black guy and gets ten years, and everybody's hugging, hugging, and forgiving him immediately. Forgive, forgive. And the people who forgive are better people than I am. But I just want it across the board. By the way, Amber Geiger had terribly racist texts, so it's. I don't know if it was connected to the shooting. But that's not the first person that I would have given my forgiveness to. So everybody's different. Don't criticize the folks who did it, but let's get it for everybody in America. Now, more about how you can save 70% off of military grade encryption from NordVPN. Just simply head over to nordvpn.com slash TYT to keep yourself protected from prying eyes. And for a short time only, use the code TYT to get an extra month off of Nord for free. Thanks for watching.